Tonight on the show, we talk fan games both old and new. Are fake Pokemon worth having in your game? And what's with Nintendo coming in and shutting down all these fan games? We talk all this right here, right now, on the Ding Dang Fan Game Talk Show. Ding Dang Fan Game Talk Show. I'm your host, Evan Starr, and let's get right to it with my very first segment called Rapid Fire News. Welcome to Rapid Fire News, where I run through the latest updates from Pokemon fan games in the last year. Let's get right to it. Pokemon Phoenix Rising, still not out. Pokemon Uranium, I <laughs> And so that's why I can't really talk about it very much. Pokemon Cinder and Foam, well, they grayed out their Twitter, so that can't be good. Pokemon Blue Chrome, still stolen. Pokemon whatever 12 games Mindetez Remix is working on right now, anime titties. Pokemon Insurgents, the YouTubers still eat that shit up like candy for some reason. Pokemon Generation Zero. <sighs> Pokemon Reborn, still right on the cutting edge of edgy. Pokemon Sage, proving still that a whole community can take credit for a few people's work. Pokemon Ethereal Gates, most overhyped, most underdelivered. Next patch when? Pokemon Prism, well, they got sniped. Pokemon Phoenix Rising, well, since we started this segment, it still hasn't come out. And lastly, Pokemon Wet Moat, releasing today? More on this after the break. My elite battle system today to make all friends jealous of fan games. Folks, welcome back to the Ding Dang Fan Game Talk Show. Now it's time for a segment that I like to call, Is It Worth It To Put Fake Mon In Your Fan Game? Here on Is It Worth It To Put Fake Mon In Your Fan Game, we ask and answer a simple question. Is it worth it to put fake Mon in your fan game? So, is it worth it to put fake Mon in your fan game? Let's ask our first guest, Scott. Now, Scott, is it worth it to put fake Mon in your fan game? I don't know, probably. Well, and that's it for this week's installment of Is It Worth It To Put Fake Mon In Your Fan Game. Tune in next week when we'll ask, Is It Worth It To Put Fake Mon In Your Fan Game? Again. We'll be right back after this. On our final segment of this week's Ding Dang Fan Game Talk Show, we talk about a brand new game on the horizon releasing today, Pokemon Wet Moat, said to be the greatest fan game ever? Well, I spoke directly to the creator of the game, who wanted to remain anonymous. Here's how it went down. Sitting with me here is the uh, esteemed anonymous developer of the brand new Pokemon fan game, Pokemon Wet Moat. Uh, thanks for joining us at the show, and uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your game, which Tech Insider is calling The New Breath of the Wild. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for having me on, John. Um, I fully believe that wet moat is, is is more of an experience and less of a game um we, we really wanted to capture what it's like to 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 live in this world and to experiment and to just create and i, I think we've done that i think that we have captured that so what was the inspiration behind this frankly most ambitious fan game we've ever seen well, that's a, that's a great question, Steve. Um, I I think that we were looking on on, on Twitter and, and YouTube, and you know we kept seeing two words. Um, and some of our some of our staff didn't originally start as a as Pokemon fans, but um, so we saw these two words. We saw this word wet, and we saw this word Gardevoir, and we kept thinking wet and Pokemon. Why would Gardevoir wet and and then suddenly it just hit us it's it's they want moats these people they 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 want to experience the the thrill of crossing over a moat and i think we've captured that very much dave that's absolutely fascinating thank you for joining us on the show anonymous developer everyone go and download 
Pokemon Wet Moat at PokemonWetMoat.men. Thank you very much for having me, Alan. I um I look forward to uh, talking with you again in ten years when we finish our next project. Thank you. And that's it for this week's episode of the Ding Dang Fan Game Talk Show. Be sure to download Pokemon Wet Moat. It sounds like a blast. And also, support all fan games everywhere. Go to RelicCastle.com for more Pokemon fan games. Now the credits roll. The credits are going to roll over my face. During the theme song. This is fun.